All right, here it is, y'all. You know that bad through the bone antenna I was talking about? If you, you can't buy a better antenna than what I'm fitting to show you how to make. And uh, I'm going to show you how to put this together. I'm going to show you how to beef this up real strong, real strong. Uh, because I'm actually going to put this antenna on my tower. Now, here's the pieces. See, you can buy a bag of these, and I think they about like $3 a bag. But uh, I already got the pieces cut just to rush me up, you know. But uh, anyway, here we go. All right, I'm only going to make one of these on camera. This right here is just the right distance that you need for the reflector. All right, now I'm going to do these. This right here I'm using is the thin wall. I'm trying to do this stuff fast where I don't bore y'all out. Now see we got this doubled up. Now what I'm going to do is I got these to go in the inside and put some tape around it because uh, I'll show you later. But I'm going to stick this in there. Well I might hammer it in there. Alright I finally found my damn hammer. Okay, see them. Now, like I say, that looks like some bull for right now, but it's going to wind up being real good. I I'll show you. Look at that. We got to have uh, eight of these. All right, here they are for finish, uh, put together. Uh, this is going to be for one antenna, and this is going to be for the other antenna. You know, so you can pick up two directions. All right, I'm going to show you all this. You know, we got to have some flat spots cut in them. And uh, that's, we got to have flat spots on both sides. I ain't going to do all of them, but we got to have flat spots. Whistler's going to be on this side. Reflector's going to be on this side. What I've done here is lined them all up in a straight line, and I'm getting a mark down the center of them because... We're going to be drilling a hole in every one of these to slide over this rod right here. You can drill this out by hand if you want to. Here's my rod. I'm going to tell you more about it when I get back over the table. But this is going to be what's going to hold the two antennas separated. Okay, here's my separator. I, uh, now, on this, I had this laying in the backyard. But I seen at the big home store that you can get this right here. And uh, I reckon it don't matter that much how long it is as long as the, the two antennas are not touching together. And this is 27 and a half. And uh, what I got to do here is... Uh, Find out what the center of these uh, 5 16 rods are. Because we're going to be putting this in the center. Okay, I'm going to stick one of my rods through here. I actually messed up on my drill press a while ago. And had to, and had to cut some of this off and drill another hole. Because of that thing there was sticking down. I got to put that in the center. Both of these. Both ends. And uh, now, I got to go find some washers. But I've already marked this so I know where the center is. And I'm going to put washers on and then screw this up in the center. Watch this trick I just figured out about two seconds ago.
All right, now I got these centered up, and what I'm going to do is tighten this up. And I might have to get two wrenches. But like I say, I'm, I'm going to try not to bore y'all out. Now you know what'll happen if you bend it, if you put this on there crooked, don't you? Um, if you drill your hole crooked, here's what here's what you got to do. You got to put this on, and uh, I'm gonna speed this up. All right, now it's getting to the easy part. Well, hell, it's all easy. When your wife asks you about it, she said, did you learn how to do that once to the computer? You tell her, hell no, I thought it up my damn self. All right, now, you know about me making all them other antennas. These have got to be nine and a half inches from this center. While I'm showing y'all this, I'm going to tell y'all about, about me. Uh, and I thought about maybe I shouldn't tell y'all, but I think I'm going to tell y'all. I was a professional poker player for about 10 years, and I won $1,000 a week. It, it was a kind of big game, but whenever I would finish, when I would win that $1,000, I would get up and come home right then because I, I, I really didn't like to play. And you know what I said about these two right here? They nine and a half apart, and then these are nine and a half apart from here. Okay, I went down there on that gambling boat where nobody didn't know me down there, and I was down there, and I was drinking, and and I was acting like I didn't know how to play, and I walked out of there with three thousand dollars in uh, four hours or three hours, ever how long we played. They just about threw me off the damn boat before it was over with because they all realized that they had done been had. I was acting like I couldn't, I didn't know what I had and all that. You know how, you know how to do. All right, you see this crooked son of a gun right here. This is the way you straighten it. Put it in your drill. And I'm, I'm kind of holding back a little bit. Look at that. This is actually going to be two two whiskers, but I'm just doing I'm doing them uh, instead of doing each one. I'm doing one uh, two at a time. And y'all, the the poker life it is very boring. The people that's playing wild and going crazy and acting stupid and trying to hit. Man, they the ones having the fun. Because when you're playing professional, you, you're playing a very controlled game. All right, I got this in right here straight. And what I'm going to do is go right here, and I'm going to mark a 20. And I'm going to cut every one of these. Now, this is a... Uh, this is number number eight gauge wire. Uh, you know I usually use ten ten gauge, but uh, I had some of this right here left over, and so this is eight gauge. All right, and this is the other end I just cut. I'm gonna cut them uh twenty two, and. Y'all, the reason I quit playing poker, my wife is a Christian, and she didn't like me play, so I quit. What I done here, y'all, took all my whiskers out and laid them in, got this in straight, and I'm marking a 10-inch line, and I'm going to tell y'all, be extremely careful, uh, see where that, where I, bunt, I turned around fast, and that rod went in here. And come out over here on this side. So be real careful. If if you bump into something toting it, it'll ruin you. Okay, put your uh, needle nose right beside the line. Don't want to put it right on the line. But what I usually do these is uh, four and a half inches. And man, I've done it five inches. And 
it it picks up just as good whether it's five or four or uh, four and a half or whatever, you know. Okay, here's to kind of sum everything up. What it is is there's a nut behold, in between every one of these. And uh and you know, like me building making that, that triple wall like what it is. Uh, that's why because I'm gonna tighten the hell out of these right here, you know, whenever I get it get it set. And make sure you watch part two. I'm going to show you some stuff that I had never showed you. Uh, you know, I've kind of, I've a little bit kind of kept it a secret, but uh, I'm going to show you some stuff.